Donald Trump understands media. He's, he's a, te a television star. Uh, and he's connected with America. Are you kidding me? Reince Priebus is going to give us an exciting convention? Donald, Come on. Donald Trump is going to give okay, you an exciting Okay, how? What do you do? Do you have movies? Do you, what do you, do you, we're we're, we're going to put a program together. It's not put together yet. We a have reality ideas. show of some we kind? Have, well, this is the ultimate reality show. It's the presidency of the United States. Well, that's Paul Manafort on another network promising a different kind of convention this summer in Cleveland. What would that convention look like? Barry Bennett, senior advisor to the Donald Trump campaign, with me now to Washington. Sir, good morning to you. And, Nice to have you back here in America's newsroom. Good morning. Um, I heard Donald Trump a few weeks ago say 2012 in Tampa was boring. Uh, yeah. m more or less. Did you see it that way? Well, I think most Republican conventions have been relatively boring. Uh, I hope that this year we can do something about that. If people are engaged on entirely new platforms. We need to engage them on those platforms. Uh, we need to do a lot more education and uh, worry about, you know, Who's speaking in the limelight uh, a lot less? Okay, now, um, the suggestion in that interview with Manafort yesterday was that you could see Trump, viewers could, much earlier in that week, perhaps even every night in a different city. Is that under consideration, and how far have you gone on that decision? Well, we've not, not gone very far at all on any of the decisions, but uh, there's certainly a train of thought that, uh, that uh, perhaps Mr. Trump speaks every night from a different city across America, highlighting a different problem that he's promised to solve pain that he's discovered uh, and his solution to that pain. Okay, now on that point, have you studied the Democrats from 2012 in Charlotte? Yes. Uh, you, you know, they were on message every night, right? It, yeah. it was Osama bin Laden's dead, GM is alive, and there's a war on women in America today. Yeah. Now, when you think about that message, how do you figure the clarity by which Republicans and Trump speak in 2016 to make sure that people hear them? Well, I think, I think that we can talk about messages that are much more powerful than even those. We need to talk about people who feel like they're not being heard, people that feel they've been lied to, people who are hurting because their, their circumstances, the government is not addressing their pain. Uh, and we can do that. We can, we can go to the worst school in America. We can go to a closed down factory. We can, we can uh, tell the American people that we understand their problems, we feel their pain, and here's a solution, a Republican conservative solution. Well, now that's an interesting point. Because when you try and fit this balance of a television event, which conventions are, is yeah. it more important to have A, the television event, or B, the focus on the issues? And how do you how do you manage that? How is that produced? Well, I, I think it, we have to talk about the issues. That's what, that's what you win campaigns on, you know, not television events. Uh, and, and the television is a huge, huge part of the convention, but it's not the only part. Uh, you know, we've got to do, Donald Trump is a master of social media. He's got 16 million social media followers growing every day. We need to engage those people through social media, through the convention. Uh, and he'll do that. He totally gets it. I mean, he's probably the most media adept candidate we've had ever. Yeah. Uh, two more points. When Manafort talks about the presidency of the United States being the ultimate reality show, what does that mm -hmm. mean to you? Well, I mean, you know, I think that people want to see more than they've seen in the past about these campaigns, right? They want, they want to understand that the candidate is listening, that he hears, that he feels, and that he has a solution. And you can't do that in a 30-second ad, right? It has to be an attitude throughout the entire campaign. And that's what I think you're going to see this fall. Mm. Um, this morning on Fox and Friends, he suggested that Rudy Giuliani might head up a special committee on Muslim immigration in America. As a mm -hmm. senior advisor, are you in tune with that possibility? Well, you know, I think that uh, most Americans and uh, certainly a supermajority of Republican voters understand that we have to do a better job at screening uh, good people from bad people as they come into the country. We also need to take a look at immigration as in total to make sure we're letting the best and the brightest come in first that can, that can you know, row the boat with the rest of us. Uh, should uh, we expect that announcement soon, Barry? I, mean, I don't know about how soon. We've got a lot of things going on, but, you know, it's, it's, we're working on it. Okay. It's a work in progress on the campaign. I know that coming together the, the way it is quickly. We hope yeah. you come back because we'd like to follow it and figure out what's happening on the inside. Thank you, Thank sir. You, Barry Bennett Bye. there in Washington, D.C. Thank you.